Good afternoon. It's about three o'clock. You might be able to hear Molly. She's um, I'm just in the kitchen and she's uh, having some water. Um, I've got home from work and my cat kids and order arrived and I wanted to, to show you uh, one of the items that I ordered because I've been waiting for it to come. But the other things are gifts for family. So I'm not going to share that. Um, what is it, Molly? And also my needles have arrived, so I'm going to share them with you as well. I love the red and white striped <laughs> packaging inside. How cool is that? I might have to... Um... Oh, see, this is the problem now when you get into journaling. Look, I love how you can reuse it. So that's fantastic. It's got the... Yes, that can be reused, which is fantastic, and it's recyclable, so I will keep hold of it, but I really like this. And when you get into journaling or scrapbooking and things like that, quite often you'll look at packaging and you'll think, oh, I'm going to keep that. I have to hide that away from my husband because he'll just moan at me. <laughs> but this is what I ordered, and it's a tablecloth, and they also put in this little coaster, which is really sweet really nice um and this is in their christmas um design so i'm going to put it on the table now and i'll show you so it fits it fits on the table perfectly and it's really really sweet the print is lovely but it doesn't i was expecting it to be it, it is wipe clean it does say that it's I got it in the sale, so I did not pay the full price for it. Um, I think I paid about twenty pounds for it. I, it was it was a really good offer actually. It was already discounted, and then it had a and then it was um, Black Friday. It was the weekend they had Black Friday, so it was discounted a, discounted again. And then I managed to get another discount on it. So, but it does say it's coated, and it did say online that it's wipeable, but it doesn't. Um, not sure if you can see like the weave of the fabric there, but it doesn't remind me of their usual oil cloth. So I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe if I let Jessie do painting on this, it would get covered, which is a shame because I'll have to, I was hoping just to leave it on, but that's okay. I will um, we'll have to take it off or I'll have to just be extra careful and, and lay something else down. Um, but it's really lovely. It's really colourful. Really colourful. And I've just got my little doily here. Well, it's not little, is it? <laughs> I've got my crochet doily that I did and just got my candles there. But yeah, it fits perfectly. So happy with that. And I've got, uh, oh, I was going to share with you my needles, wasn't I? Let me go and grab the needles a minute. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but that is really heavy rain. And I've got to go out in about 10 minutes on the school run to pick up Jessie. Why does it always rain? Great. Anyway, um, I was contacted by Hire Hire um, to see if I would like to try some of their needles. Some that I've not tried before. And um, they very kindly sent me these and some of the, um, the notions as well, which is so kind of them. Let me let me go and get grab the tripod. I've, I've even got my coat on still. I've not even took my coat off. Let me go and grab the tripod and then I'll, I can show you properly then what I've got. 
Let me just move that out of the way a minute. So I have one of their little dumpling cases, which I think, these look so cute, don't they? So this is their dumpling case. Is it gonna focus? Let me see if I can get it to focus. This is a dumpling case and pink stitch marker set. And the idea is, oh, it opens that way. It's really, really cute. And then you just squeeze the, the ends in and it opens up. So it's really small, really handy to pop in your project bags. It does not take up a lot of space. And then you've got these, I think some people call these, are they called it monkey fists? Is that the name of them? I've actually seen people um, use these in their planners, which look really nice. So you've got these ones here, these pink ones, these stitch markers. So that's a lovely little set, isn't it? And then these scissors here. And these are the stainless steel rainbow scissors. Just open them up a minute. Let me move that away. I think the camera's getting confused with the busy new tablecloth. They're really pretty, aren't they? Can never have too many scissors. And needle wise, I was chatting to them and I said how much I'm really enjoying nine inch circulars and they very kindly sent me these ones here. So bamboo and 3.5. So that'll be perfect for DK socks. And I've got in the sharps, I've got 3.5 again for DK and then 2.5, which is what is the size that I favour for my four ply fingering. So really chuffed that I've got these because um, they are going to be great for DK socks. And then this one here is fantastic because I really wanted to have my Christmas cookie uh, socks that I'm currently knitting. I really wanted to be able to knit them together. So I'm going to cast the second sock on tonight see if I can catch up. Back home changed. It's still raining on and off, but I've just made a lovely cup of tea and I thought I'd just quickly all be in well, although I'm, we might be disrupted and I might, this might not work, but I've had a few comments about my Christmas cookie socks and I wanted to show them to you again and just share with you the information about them just in case this is the first time you're watching or maybe you did watch previously and you might have missed the bit where I um, where I shared these so this this is the Christmas cookie self-striping colorway and this is dyed by Elena from Kleeline Kleeline design I think I think that's correct but this is Elena's tag and you can find her on Etsy and Instagram now, I'm not sure if she will be dyeing any more of this colourway um, up. I'm not sure when her next update is, but if you are on Instagram, pop over and follow her because that's where she tends to update when she's going to be, um, that's where she announces her shop updates. Um, and of course, check her Etsy shop out. I'll leave a link down below for you um, and um, have a look. She also has some really lovely, fun, bright, self-striping colourways as well. But isn't that one absolutely stunning? I just love it so much. And I've got my Nutcracker Progress Keeper on there, which is, um, that one's made by my lovely friend, Lindsay, who is Simply Serving. And you can also find Lindsay on Instagram and Etsy as well. And Lindsay also has a YouTube channel. Um, and and actually also does um also elena has a youtube channel as well on the back of her label there i'm not sure if it's showing up but that's that's all the social media places that you can find her um and i'm knitting these on chow goose chow 2.5s 
um, and nine inch circulars. Now, it, the idea was because I split the I split them into two fifty grams, and I wanted to be able to knit them at the same time. But I only I I had two of these, but I was so eager to cast on the second breakfast sock, which is a pattern by Lindsay of Sock Witchery, and I'm loving this pattern. I've only done a little bit, but I'm loving the yarn. I'm loving the pattern. The texture is gorgeous, and so that was my other needle. Um, but you would have seen that I I was sent some needles today, so I'm really happy that they arrived because. I'm going to cast on the second one tonight with the um, the higher higher sharps in the 2.5 so I'll be able to let you know what I think of them so that's tonight's plan so yes I thought I'd share that with you I've got the oven on at the minute and it's cooking a pizza for Jessie just in case you're wondering she loves pepperoni pizza so that's what she's having for tea because we have to go out in a bit and do some food shop um you have to do the food shop so it's a case of i don't know about you but towards the end of the week you just or towards the end of your food you need to just use up what you've got so that's both of them and at the minute i just want to knit on on these socks i am loving them so much so that's those ones but i thought i'd just show you so the yarn that i'm doing with my green lampkin christmas carol advent and I've got my Candy Cane Progress Keeper, is we're knitting these really lovely knits and they're called Show Us Your Scraps Fingerless Knits. And it is a paid for pattern and it's by Laura, who is the lonely knitter. You see it there and that's, um, so I've done, that's day three and I've still got, yes, I've still got, um, Saturdays, Sundays, and I'm going to open my advent now, but I'm knitting them on 2.5 as well, but I've got a really long cable for that one. So I was going to try and move them, but I've not got around to doing that yet. So that's those, but I'm not sure if they're going to fit, and fit me, fit my wrists. If not, I think I'll gift them to Isabel. But I would, I thought, well, I've got a few minutes. I can see the time is going to go off. We've got three minutes, so can... Can we make it before the clock counts down? The countdown timer. Um, I've got lovely memories of my granddad, who I miss dearly. Um, he used to love watching that show, Countdown. Anyway, so let, let's see if we can beat the clock. So every so often I'm gonna glance over there and that's because that's where my kitchen um, timer is on the cooker. So first up, let's open this one. And this one is a swap that I've done with my lovely friend, Rachel, so Ray me. I'm going to quickly open it because of the, the rustling and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've got a Nespresso. I'm not sure what that one is, but I've got that one. I've got a Sweetie, which is the banana skids. I love those sweets. And then I've got a little package in here and this little glassine. Do they call it a glassine? Oh, it's so sweet. Little envelope. So I'll be able to reuse the envelope. Let's have a look. Oh, she's put some of her wax seals in this little bag. And that's Rachel's logo there. Oh, they're lovely. Oh, wow, look at that gold sticker. That's someone coming downstairs, it's probably Isabel. Look at that lovely tag as well. Isn't that really nice and pretty? And, oh, I love that, that's really nice. I'll be able to put that in my one of my journals. That's really nice. So that's that one gonna pop that there next up i'm gonna open up my advent swap that i've done with suzanne green lambkin yarn and suzanne i didn't bring my my card with me but this is her actual advent that she's done and this is the christmas carol one so this is day six so if you've got the advent advent by suzanne then you might want to look away if you've not opened day six oops flying about that oh, isn't that really pretty it's on her sparkle base and i've got a stitch marker that's also come with it as well which is this cute little deer reindeer and today's colorway is called three spirits okay so my next advent that i'm going to open up is from natalie of blush yarns so if you've not opened up day six you might want to look away 
Oh, we didn't make it. Oliver popped down, um, and so I was mindful of him. Let me turn the timer off one minute. Let me open this one. <gasps> oh, wow, look at that. Where's my, have I got my card here that tells us? I've left it in there. I'll put it on the screen. The colourway, the name of this one. But isn't that beautiful? That's gorgeous. <gasps> and look at this. Oh my days. A progress keeper. And this is Little Bitty Delights. And I already have um, a progress keeper. From this lovely maker. Look at the lovely box that it's in. Oh, I love it. Oh, Natalie, it's fantastic. Let's see if you can, hopefully the camera's focusing on it. Isn't that great? It's a cake, like a strawberry chocolate cake and it's got cream and it's got the peppermint candy on top. That's really sweet, I love that. And then my last advent is by Camel Jean. Whoops. So I will open that one up. Day six, Camel Jean. Oh, beautiful. Oh, wow, it's like a peachy, like a very pale peach, creamy peach. I'm really, really loving the singles base. And then it's got some really fine speckles in there as well. Beautiful. have just cast on the second sock using the higher highers that I showed er earlier, the sharp ones, the nine inch circulars. What I really like about high higher, with every needle, they always put in a little, one of these little bulb stitch markers in the pack. I think that's really nice. So I've used that one at the minute just to mark my beginning of round. So I'm going to sit here, I'm going to do a few more rounds. I've already started editing today's vlog. And then we will be um, watching I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here Later. Um, Isabel comes down and watches that, she really likes it. Um, let me know. If you are in the UK and you're watching it, let me know. Um, and that's it for today. So tomorrow is another work day, so... Um, hopefully when I get home I can share some more happy mail. I'm still waiting for quite a big order of journaling supplies and they still haven't arrived. But I'm, um, I know that post at the minute is taking longer than normal. But if that is the case and they haven't arrived, I can share some other bits with you that did turn up a little while ago. So anyway, I shall stop chatting now. And I will see you all tomorrow.